deer right there and some hair. Do the windshield wipers work? No. I saw somebody back there had a uh, pet cat. You want to go back and murder it just like you did the deer? Well, is it raining? Yes. Oh my goodness. Welcome back guys. I'm excited. We got the Camaro in the background. We had to stop along our road trip here today because we had to, we had to do, do a bathroom break. But um, we are going to do, possibly, we don't know what's going to happen. We might be doing one of the most exciting trades that we've ever done on the channel. The Camaro for something really exciting. Now, if you're wondering, because you haven't seen the Camaro, it's been in the background and stuff. We had the Camaro sold, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sold. Uh, and the buyer never came through. They left a hefty deposit. So that's good. Um, so it's working out all right. But then we just got a new offer for something pretty cool. We're about 20 minutes out. So we're going to get back in the car. It was about three hours away. See if we can make this deal work. It, it's, it, we're not sure. We're not sure yet, but we're if you're new to the channel, we picked up this Camaro, rebuilt it, had a little bit of front end damage, nothing bad, sideswiped a little bit, um, control arm, fender door, uh, yeah, that's about it, hood, bumper cover, no, no hood, no, actually, hood. bumper cover, and uh, so we've been trying to sell it for a while, we've had a ton of interest, and we've had a bunch of people just not come through, um, luckily, the last person paid their deposit and didn't take it, I don't know if luckily is the right word, but, yeah, it's, but I think it's going to work out all right on our end. So fat in this image. All right. The one thing I don't know uh, about yet is if we're gonna be able to film there because we're gonna have to talk to the guy. He's gonna check this car out. We're gonna check the other vehicle out. I might be able to film a little bit of that, but it's gonna be it's gonna be hit or miss. I'm not gonna put a camera in his face. So we'll see what we get. All right. We're we're pulling up, and I think it's, it looks kind of like a business. So I'm not sure. Here. I guess I'm, I guess I'm gonna show you. At least a little bit. I'll show you. Freaking airplane on the roof! I know. That's so oh bad. my goodness! Oh, he's got CTS. He's sports. got stuff, man. Oh, he's got a tattoo. I feel like we should we should hang out with this guy. Huh. And the airplane on the roof! Oh man, this and stuff out back. Probably should be showing all of his stuff, but man. All right, we're gonna go make a deal out here. He's taking the Camaro. We're taking the truck, at least for a little test drive. We'll see here. Well, that is a uh, that is a creeper gear there. <laughs> here and low. <laughs> Drive-wise, a little all over the place. 
sir. Looked like you were sawing on the wheel for a second there. Oh, yeah. said it was good um i didn't okay. get it to latch the first time but he slammed her real good and uh but i agree it looks kind of like it's anybody behind me no that gear is useless <laughs> On our little test drive here, we just decided to pull over away from, you know, everybody and get a real good look at it, and then you can kind of give your honest opinions. What's your honest opinion so far? You know, honest opinion is, and it's like been every single restoration car I've seen. Like, it always seems like the little details, like in the door jams and around the edges and stuff like yeah. that, are just always left undone. And so I don't know if it's this truck or if that's just how restoration projects are. Yeah. Paint looks excellent through the camera lens and even at first glance, but I feel like it's a little thin. Um, if you look at areas like this, like it seems like maybe it was layered on just a little inconsistently. I mean, it could be just this color, I'm not sure. Uh, but I mean, it looks it looks good though. Uh, it's It could use a good buff, I think, like a nice, um, it's not, I wouldn't say orange peely, but it's, it's close to it, just uh, a little polish would probably do it good. Got a little, few little things like here, looks like they had a tape line or something that I'm not sure what was, what was going on. Um, mounts are interesting. I mean, they're not terrible. I think they're, they're fine, but uh, what your frame did you say? Uh, like 70 something. 70s, 70s truck frame underneath of it, which is pretty much what everybody does with these trucks. Nobody really runs the original frame but the frame looks good looks really nice shape that i like definitely no rust or anything like that that i've seen well i guess there's some here that was repaired can't quite actually you guys can probably see it in the camera better than i can hold on a second okay so there is some stuff hiding up underneath here but that's the old like this stuff down here is solid that's just the inner um yeah, you might want to take a look back there. I don't know what to say on it. Because, um, like, this is fine. It's just, like, the inner layer hmm. is gone. But the floor pans and everything are good. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then, is this side the same? This side's the same deal. But floor pans, all that stuff looks good. She is a 454, four-speed... I don't know, it's, it's definitely an older 454. I don't know what, what it's out of. All right, getting in the Camaro. Heading out to the notary. Sorry for the delay there. We're heading out to the notary to make You these. want to explain that to the people in the other 49 states? Uh, oh yeah, Pennsylvania, you have to have a notary to flip it, to, to switch a title. Stupidest, stupidest thing. You can't just sign the title and go. So we're going to a notary. Because that's what you have to do here to have a legal title. Never gonna believe this crap. You really are not. It's right. the stupidest thing. We are coming back to from the notary. It's all done. I got the plate sitting in my lap right here. Deer runs out. We're in the Camaro. Like just, two miles. It's like two miles. Deer just runs straight out in front of the car here. We just literally just, just murdered a deer and we don't know what the front of the Camaro looks like. The guy's in front of us, it's his car. Yeah, it, now. Like literally, so we just I have no, I, I yeah. literally, I mean, we were two miles from the notary. We're out in the country, just freaking, and I hate deer. Oh my goodness. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm a we'll, skills we'll, hunter. We're gonna see what happens, I don't know. Oh. Not bad. A little. Oh yeah, it is popped. The bumper covers popped out a little bit. That's it. Yeah, right there, and some hair. All right. Well, guy was nice enough. He didn't care. 
he uh, was able to pump the, pop it back together. It looked like there might have been a little crack in the headlight. He didn't care. He was he was good with it. We offered to literally cancel the transaction and uh, take the Camaro home. He could keep the truck, and he said he was good with it. We're gonna try to knock out as much <laughs> as we can here before it's uh, raining or before it's dark out because we know that the they said that well actually we never checked the lights we don't know that they work but we think that they work we're i'll check in along the way probably we're going to get some fuel here i don't know if it if the looks like the gas gauge kind of works You're good my way not that way don't go that way we can't have another accident it's not again good yeah we'll see you guys in a little bit Hey dude, I saw somebody back there had a uh, pet cat. You wanna go back and murder it just like you did the deer? I don't hate all animals. Actually, I don't even hate deer. I just hate deer that are in front of my car. There is a knocking in the steering column. There it kind of went away, but it gets it gets a little rowdy. I'm not gonna lie. It, uh, let's see here. There it's coming back. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Get, get a close up, watch All this. Right. Ready? Oh, wow. They actually, they did move before. They don't move at all now. Oh. <laughs> I like the radio. Oh, this house down here has horses. Why don't you take a couple of them out, too? I love animals. I'm just not that deer that was in front of my car. Do the windshield wipers work? No. Well, Is it raining? Yes. So far, it hasn't been that big of a deal. It's got the vines around here, so like not, not the world's worst thing. And Lance, dude, he got his first deer. He's never been hunting. I mean, he's such a skilled hunter that he was able to get one. Because that's what it takes. It takes skill to get a deer. Also, I may have gone on a rant about deer hunting recently. So, what? Deer sign? Yeah, yeah I just saw a deer sign. Got a, hey, let me let you know. I don't know why they put the deer crossing signs at road. You know what I mean? Like they should tell the deer to cross other places. I see that. Trail. All right, we'll find out if the gauge works. I think it actually does. The way it's bouncing around makes me, thinks, makes me think that there's a float in there. Floating. You want any snacks or anything? Do you think I should go premium on it? I think an old 454 would literally just blow up if you ran anything other than like, I don't know, six year old fuel thrower. I wouldn't even know what to do. I already have premium selected, so. Can I check the oil? Nah, you don't want to check the oil in these old 454s. They prefer not to have any. All right, late night here we are. Closer, closest to home. But I don't know if I said it on camera or not, I thought this radiator looked way undersized for this engine. Um, and going up and down some hills here. Uh, yeah. She was getting up pretty, pretty hot. So I don't know how much. Well, and we're of course like on the worst stretch of road here where it's just not a lot of room to pull over. Paint really sparkles. In the flashlight, yeah. She cooled down a little bit. Let's see what. I don't know where the rust is or whatever. That's probably just, you know, old coolant. Got on your dirty shirt, stuff. Man, sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, you're. Oh, you're not going to sacrifice a shirt. It's all right. It stinks, dude. It does not smell like my normal. Anna free situation, mm -hmm. does it? My, yeah, it, it, it smells rusty. Yeah. <laughs> like, might just have water in there. That's why I use distilled water. Well, there comes the water. Some of it. That is nasty looking. It's real oily, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's oil. 
I wonder. Maybe that's why it stinks. I never had, in my experience with like head gasket issues and things, mine has always been uh, water in the oil. That was a freaking oil. Unless it's a trick, like is that a thing people do? <laughs> like make your antifreeze not freeze? No, I don't know. So. Tractor trailer coming, just a heads up. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I just hope they talk about nothing. <laughs> you get that video up in there, man. That's going good. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think there's. <sighs> yeah, I think so. And tell me, does my... Okay, my shirt's already ruined. Yeah, yeah your shirt's ruined. Okay. My shirt's ruined. My freaking outfit's ruined. Unbelievable. I have never experienced that before in my life. Well, she's not going to rust up here now. I mean, it's definitely... Oily. All right. <laughs> Triple A coming up. Well, we came up with a solution here. Involves that tow truck right there. up there but uh, also it'd be really nice if it ran. All this light's making me think that we need some rock lights underneath there. Really advance auto it out. Well we took a little drive it's pouring down rain now but we made it we made it home. Yeah. 